Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are in the ninth week of ordinary time. Today, we join in the Thanksgiving Mass to celebrate the 113th foundation anniversary of Centro Escolar University. Founded on June 3, 1907 by Doña Librada Avilino and Doña Carmen de Luna, the university anchored on the philosophy of science and virtue, has evolved through the years as a leading higher education institution that fosters excellence in the advancement of knowledge, engineering, personal integrity, and social responsibility through its commitment to quality education. We pray to the Lord that through our services and sacrifices, He may continue to shower His immeasurable blessings to all of us and that, through the fervent prayers, may Centro Escolar University continue to grow with its management, faculty, non-teaching personnel, and students united in perfect charity in Jesus Christ. Presiding over this Eucharistic celebration is Reverend Father Mikael Kabilen. Let us join in the singing of the entrance hymn. Please all rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Virgin Mary, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling blessing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Kindly all be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy, chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, and verses 6 to 12. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, for the promise of life in Christ Jesus to Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. 
I am grateful to God whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake. But bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to a holy life, not according to our works, but according to his own design. And the grace bestowed on us in Christ Jesus before time began, but now made manifest through the appearance of our Savior Christ Jesus, who destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, for which I was appointed preacher and apostle and teacher. On this account, I am suffering these things, but I am not ashamed. For I know him in whom I have believed, and I'm confident that he is able to guard what has been entrusted to me until that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Lord. Responsorial Psalm. To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. To, to you, O Lord, Lord, I lift up my eyes. To you I leap up my eyes who are enthroned in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of servants are on the hands of their masters. To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. As the eyes of a maid are on the hands of her mistress, so are the eyes on the Lord, our God, till he have pity on us. To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. Please rise to give honor and glory to the Holy Gospel. Please be seated and listen to the homily. First is my congratulations to CEU. 
and thank you very much for making me a part of this celebration. <clears throat> Let me begin my reflection with you. Focusing on the philosophy of Centro Escolar University, Ciencia y Virtud. And how do we understand that? Especially when you are celebrating a great celebration like this in the midst of pandemic coronavirus 19. So there is a story. There was a little boy who looked up at the star and began to cry. The star asked him, why are you crying? The boy answered, you are too far away. I shall never be able to reach you. The star replied, oh little one, if I were not in your heart, you would not be able to see me. Beautiful story. If we try to connect it immediately with science and virtue. So normally, when we are developing and understanding an idea, we always begin with a question, what then to be followed, how and why? After looking at the philosophy of science and virtue that your school holds, what does it mean to the school, to the graduates, and to you? So why science and virtue? And when we graduate from CEU, what does CEU transform in me? Who am I because of science and virtue? To put it simply, we say that science is our pursuit of knowledge, of understanding, of truth. But how do we pursue knowledge? And when we reach out and attain the truth, how do we translate the truth to our daily lives? Or to poetically put it, how are CEU ones different from BS? You ones, if you want, from consulas, you ones, if you want. Have you seen any difference at all? If not, then you make science and virtue a big question for the graduates. And there is a beautiful come on that I read from the book. The first to offer this kind of understanding. The first to call you. And I don't know how it reaches you when you come to realize that your school is the first voice to call you that this institution will lead you to that truth and will assist you to translate the truth that the school imparted to you into your daily lives. By asking, why am I different from those who graduated from other schools? What I mean by that is, what is your purpose? What is your cause? What is your mission? What is your belief? Why are you different? And what is the reason to celebrate this truth? Every day, every day, yes. And a big celebration like this, every anniversary. 
these questions actually are leading us to the way we look at ourselves, how we think, the way we act, the way we communicate, the way we are. And the way we are is telling us the virtue that we have taken from the school. Like the child crying because the star is too far away. And like the star assuring, you cannot see me unless I am in your heart. That is how I would like to look at the connection between science and virtue. The science that the school helps to shape must be present in your heart. No? If that is present in your heart, the knowledge that is uniquely shaped in you by CEU, it should become the very virtue of your lives. How you live your life. During these months of pandemic, Chris Aureliano, a graduate of CEU, I just couldn't remember whether it, whether it was 94, 96, 97. Recent. He messaged me one day and told me, I talked to my co-graduates in our course in CEU, Malolos. And we discussed how we would be able to help. These are young people still trying to achieve and realize their dream. And yet here, talking to each other and designing a program to help those who are in need. And they came up with a good project, providing milk for the poor children whose parents would not have money any longer to support the milk for the babies. So beautiful. It's powerful. It is virtue. And where do you think it must have been rooted? Not just simply from families, but from your school. That's how understanding is being translated into virtues. The vehicle to prove the depth of your understanding, of your science, is how you live your life. And what kind of life are we referring to? Is it is the life that is filled with the gospel. It is a life that says that achievement is meaningless and nothing unless we learn how to share it, especially with those who are in need, the poor, the starving. We can only see the kind of understanding we have when we plan, not just for today, but for, for what we are going to in the future. So the, under, the science that we get from school is not just to equip us for what and how we are going to look up at our lives in the present, but to make us prepared for the future. The virtue that we must live should lead us to a better future. The future is what the school would like its students to form into. The future that is made up of encounters that our life flows through our relationship with others. Our existence is deeply tied to other people. That life is about interactions. That knowledge is telling us that you are not island 
in this life, but you are in, we are interconnected. Our encounters with the poor, the rich, the addict, the despised. Let us ask ourselves, why then they are poor? They are not educated, and that we are not poor. We are educated. So let us be happy that we celebrate science and virtue. And we need to ask, what ever happened to the other celebrations you have had? Maybe every annual celebration. We might be discouraged by other results, by people coming from our school, the same institution that help us realize who we are. However, this anniversary is an invitation that we don't look at them, but let us look at ourselves still possessing the virtue, making ourselves even more present and valuable in the future. Let us be happy to be coming from CEU, because coming from this institution will tell us that the virtue we have will surely assist us in building hope. Future is filled with virtue of people who possess greater understanding. So let us realize that we all need each other without knowing needing for others is a virtue one song tells us people who need people are the luckiest people in the world what greater virtue can we ever replace the need for others one can only build the future by having each other by belonging to one another. The most intelligent people are not people who accomplish so much, but people who are connected with so many brothers and sisters. The harsh judgment that we may have is when we look at ourselves and find in there that there is nothing except me. The harsh judgment in my heart or in the heart of anyone is when we open the wound and we do not know how to cover it again. The offense that was never forgiven, the rancor that is only going to hurt even more, all are instances that we carry within us a false understanding, a false knowledge. We will only be proud people with education, but there's no virtue. Or we will only be stupid people, perhaps understanding that only virtues are necessary without proper understanding. See you for so many years, centuries, century and 13, is proud to say that it should always interconnect science and virtue so that it may inflame the, uh, the true man who understands and live a good life. My brother asked me one time, what kind of a man, highly educated, but no education? And I was pushed to quiet and ask myself, what kind indeed of a man who knows a lot, but has no character? Science and virtue is to give us understanding and to shape us into people of character because in the end 
it is not the question of how much we have achieved in this life. It is a matter of, uh, of answering the question, did I ever fill the world with love? And as you celebrate your annual anniversary, it is so beautiful that you have come up to a good answer. If indeed CEU helps the students, the CEU ones, to fill the world with love. Kindly all be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare you glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and ring from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Please all rise. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Broderick, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to channel life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by the fine teaching, we dare to say. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say that the word and my soul shall be healed. Oh 
Let us pray. Please all rise. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now proceed to the flower offering and the blessing of the crypts to be offered by the Administrative Council headed by Dr. Maria Cristina Di Padolina. We shall now recite the Horatio Imperata. God, our Father, we, we come, come to you, you to, uh, to ask your protection against the 2019 in coronavirus that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and its cause of its virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians, pray for pray us. us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calongso, pray for us. Kindly be all seated. We would like to thank Father Mikael in celebrating our Thanksgiving Mass. The Administrative Council, headed by President Dr. Maria Cristina Di Padolina, Mr. Angelito Ayran, to each and everyone who helped us to make this celebration possible, and to all CEU community who joined us via live stream. For those who join us in Facebook, please stand by for us in a short while. We will start the renewal of the consecration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, followed by the virtual choir performance of our Manila CEU singers. Please all rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
grant that we may remember the heart of Jesus, that you are full of goodness and mercy toward the repentant sinner. And when the hour of the separation strikes and death enters our community circle, whether we go or whether we stay, we shall all bow humbly before your eternal peace. This shall be our consolation to remember that the day will come when our entire community, once more united in heaven, shall be able to sing your glory and your goodness forever. May the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the glorious Patriarch Saint Joseph be to offer you our act of consecration and to keep the memory of me alive with us the days of our lives. We consecrate to you the heart of Jesus, the trials and joys, and all the happiness of our community life, and we beg you to pour out your best blessings on all of its members, present and absent, living and dead. O oh, Jesus, you all of us in paradise, find again our entire community united in your sacred heart. Amen. You may in place that with your love and providence you may protect and guide it. Grant to all its members abundant grace so that they may obey you and preserve their faith. Strengthen in us faith and charity. Make us meek and humble of heart so that we may live a good and holy life according to your will. Let this university be another Nazareth so that peace and charity may reign in it and keep all its members united till death. May the most sacred heart of Jesus and immaculate heart of Mary be ever loved and honored in this university. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. as we celebrate our century and 13 years. Today, as we celebrate with joy, we thank our very dear Father Dars Cabral, the parish priest of our Baraswain Church, the famous and historic Baraswain Church. We thank him for allowing us to use this beautiful church, this beautiful church. We thank him for his very, very beautiful and inspiring message to all Escolarians on Ciencia e Virtude. Let us give Father a big round of applause. We thank our choir, the CEU singers Malolos, led by their conductor and organist, Mr. Herman de Guzman. All the alumni and students have been part of this chorale and they are here today sharing their beautiful music with us. We thank the members of the Malolos Coordinating Council who are here, Dr. Che Santos, Dr. Veranga, Mama Marcelino, our very dear Mrs. Amelia Valencia who's joining us this uh, morning. We thank the alumni president, Dr. Nestor Lucas, and all the alumni present here. We thank our faculty members. We thank our non-teaching staff. We thank all our 
friends who joined us today and to make this celebration a success. Indeed, we thank the Lord for all that has been and for all that will be. We thank also our dear commentator, Mr. Banjo Serrano, and our readers and uh, those who offer this Mass for the success of our dear Central Escolar University. For 113 years, <clears throat> we have been blessed by the Lord. We know that in His goodness and with the guidance of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Immaculate Conception and our dear uh, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, we will continue to soar high as we fulfill our mission to spread God's love to everyone. And as mentioned by Father, may we continue to fill the world with love. Thank you, everyone, and good morning. Let us all stand for the final prayer. Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us in the face of trial steadfast in faith and in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs, St. Charles Luanda and companions. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us in the face of trials, step us in faith and in charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. It has been a tradition in the university that its foundation anniversary celebration starts with the Holy Eucharist, followed by the renewal of the consecration to the most sacred heart of Jesus. Today, on our 113th foundation anniversary, we again renew our consecration to the sacred heart of Jesus as a university with fervent hope and prayer that He will continuously fill us with His blessings, guidance, and protection. May His boundless grace and passionate love direct all of us to fulfill our vision and mission as an academic community.
the Apostles' Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O most sacred heart of Jesus, you revealed to Saint Margaret Mary your desire to rule over Christian communities. Behold, in order to please you, we gather before you this day to proclaim your full sovereignty over our university. We desire henceforth to live your life. We desire that the virtues for which you have promised peace on earth may flower in the bosom of our university. We desire to keep far from us the spirit of the world which you have condemned. You are the king of our minds by the simplicity of our faith. You are the king of our hearts by our love for you alone, with which our hearts on fire, and whose flame we shall keep alive by frequently receiving the Holy Eucharist. Be pleased, O Sacred Heart, to preside over gathering together, to bless our spiritual and temporal affairs, to ward off all annoyance from us, to hallow our joys and comfort our sorrows. If any of us has ever been so unhappy as to fall into the misery of displeasing you, grant that we may remember, O heart of Jesus, that you are full of goodness and mercy toward the repentant sinner. And when the hour of separation strikes and death enters our community circle, whether we go or whether we stay, we shall all bow humbly before your eternal decrees. This shall be our consolation to remember that the day will come when our entire community, once more united in heaven, shall be able to sing in your glory and your goodness forever. May the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the glorious Patriarch Saint Joseph deign to offer you our act of consecration and to keep the memory of it alive in us the days of our lives. We consecrate to you, O Heart of Jesus, the trials and joys and all the happiness of our community life. And we beg you to pour out your best blessings on all its members, present and absent, living and dead. O oh Jesus, 
may all of us in paradise find again our entire community united in your sacred heart. Amen. Oh good Jesus, we thank you for the most merciful love which you have showered on this university. You choose it for your property and prepared in it a dwelling place that with your love and providence you may protect and guide it. Grant to all its members abundant grace so that they may obey you and preserve their faith strengthen in us faith and charity make us meek and humble of heart so that we may lead a good and holy life according to your will let this university be another nazareth so that peace and charity may reign in it and keep all its members united till death may the most sacred heart of Jesus and immaculate heart of Mary be ever loved and honored in the university. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, bless the university, and the protection of sacred heart of Jesus be upon you. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, oh, oh.